what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we here i came across this video thought it was interesting uh y'all know i learned but i also like to get a good laugh in when what other countries think of other countries so we got sweden is the annoying neighbor of finland definitely gonna be interested to see what y'all think about this one uh so we finna jump into it y'all hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up you know what i'm saying and we starting off with homer are you like homer simpson and I don't mean fat and ugly. <laughs> what I mean is do you have a neighbor that annoys you? Well, Finland has one. If you would <laughs> examine the everyday life of the Finnish people, you would probably get an impression that Finland doesn't like Sweden that much. Now, to make oh, things dang. clear, Finland does not really hate Sweden per se. After all, we are quite similar. But from time to time, Sweden annoys the shit out of the Finnish people. <laughs> Uh -oh. To understand better the relationship between Finland and Sweden, we need to learn a little bit of history, because Sweden has had a huge oh role my in God. the history of Finland. The history between Finland and Sweden. Dang. I ain't gonna lie, I thought Swedish, Sweden and Denmark had so much history. I ain't know Finnish. Finland had this much history with Sweden. Has had a huge role in the history of Finland. The history between Finland and Sweden began almost 1000 years ago when Sweden Nein. decided that it was their duty as a Christian country to save their <laughs> pagan neighbors by invading oh their land. Congratulations, you are being rescued. Please do not resist. Dang. The best way to get new members to the Club of Christ was to send people who already belonged to the club to live with those filthy pagans. Oh my gosh. That's how the Swedish-speaking population of Finland was born. Finland was part of Sweden for a long time. But they lost Finland to Russia in the Finnish war that took place between oh. 1808 and 1809. Oh, dang. Losing Finland was a big loss for Sweden. In the years of Swedish rule, Finland had given Sweden resources, mm. men for the Swedish army, and a good human shield against attacks from the east. Oh. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> Not the the Swedish people that resided in Finland formed most of the nobles in the land. They were better people than the Finnish peasants, or as they would say, better folk. What does that mean right here? Skvinska? I ain't even gonna try to pronounce that. Y'all gotta let me know what this means right here. And this image of the Swedish-speaking people in Finland, known as Suomen Ruotsalaiset, has stuck with them what? throughout the years. So if you meet a person who is Suomen Ruotsalainen, the basic Come assumption is the that they are extremely wealthy and You guys act like you're better than me <laughs> Better than you in every way But Sweden has also other forms of superiority when compared to Finland besides the financial one Okay The most obvious one would be sports Because when oh, Finland man. and Sweden are competing, Finland is usually the underdog for example, in ice hockey, Sweden has humiliated us many times. Dang. Then there are things like music. <laughs> Sweden, yet again, is arguably and without a doubt on completely another level than Finland. Dang. What is he doing? I almost, I had to keep my composure with this one. That's hilarious. But on another note, Sweden, I didn't realize till I started doing Eurovision and stuff. Sweden, Sweden got some, they do. They ain't, I can't even argue with this because Sweden got some talented, talented artists when it comes to music. Uh, you know, even the rappers, somebody, there's like a, I mean, he, he passed away, but there was a big rapper even in Sweden, you know, um, Enar, something like that. I think I said it right. Um, that was recommended to me, but Sweden do. Sweden is big with the music scene, like you said. Started with ABBA, started with ABBA. Then you got Sabaton. I've been checking out my my guy Tommy Johansson, very talented man. So Sweden do come, and you can't forget. I'm sure they're gonna mention fashion. You can't forget the fashion, but this American or a Swedish idol thing is wild. What is he doing? <laughs> What is he doing? Oh, I honestly thought he had short arms for a minute. How he do that? <laughs> what is he doing? 
Tragostad in te, mi am in teste, oki tai jäi. Oh my god. To add insult to insult, oh the god. Swedish language is an official language in Finland. And it oh. is mandatory language to learn in our school system. So, there you have it. Our neighbor is much Samaiene. more successful than we are. And when combined with all the other reasons mentioned earlier, it is only natural that Sweden grinds our gears from time <laughs> to time. And partly because of this, we like to make fun out of Sweden quite a lot. Ulle, 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 titta, titta, ulle, ulle. <laughs> Like every other nation, we too oh, tell dang. jokes about our neighbor, where we portray them as dumb or something in that nature. Dang. But when your neighbor is better than you in almost everything, this is not enough. At all. When you are outmatched <laughs> like we are, there is only one option nah, for you. Nah, Yu-Gi-Oh. You call them gay. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a fucking um. faggot. Yeah, well, I'm superior, that's all. You just gotta know it. Every um. native Finn knows what I'm talking about, because in Finland, Sweden equals gay jokes have That's been crazy. around for decades. What channel? Who is this guy? But where wow. do these jokes come from? Well, Why one could say that the Swedes were more open-minded than the Finns back in the day, since you could be legally gay in Sweden for <laughs> almost 30 years earlier than in Finland. But That's most wild. likely, calling the Swedes gay was some sort of jealousy or defense mechanism. Father, why Maybe it poor? was more tolerable yes. to be poor oh than you thought gosh. that the Swedes who ate good food and dressed in fancy clothes <laughs> took dicks in Hey, wow, Ha! Gay! <laughs> but the truth is hey, that wow. these kind of jokes are getting a little bit old. Yeah, they and do, they do. there are all kinds of woke cultures going around, maybe we should stop making these immature jokes. Yeah. But this sends us back to the start. How can we make fun out of Sweden when they are so goddamn perfect? They Not seem the to pull bigger oh numbers on every metric. You could even hey, say that these guys are on fire. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> now, this is wild. That. The uh, Swedish Idol. <laughs> I'm gonna go have to watch that video. The Swedish Idol. Thanks, <laughs> Kaskade. It's stuck in my head now. It's stuck in my head now. But all in all, definitely might have to check out some history between Sweden and Finland. You know, uh, I've been doing Sweden, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and now we got to go to the other Nordic countries, Sweden, Finland, you know, neighbors, they right there by each other anyway. So I'm going to see what I can find. If, you know, y'all can send me some stuff too, but I'm going to see what I can find for sure. Check out this history because I know that Sweden and Denmark has just been a lot of. You know, <laughs> fighting and stuff like that. War, you know, not no jabs, definitely shooting. But yeah, that that was interesting. That was interesting. But you know, that uh, y'all told me from the jump when I start seeing the dissing and all. Oh, that's that's normal. You know, no hard feelings type of thing. That's just what we do. But y'all hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.